Hey everyone, I was told to uh, make a video about stopping distance or skidding distance and the work energy theorem. So typically in class, I uh, give students a, a question like this. Let's say you're driving down the road at say 20 miles per hour and a ball bounces out in front of you and you slam on your brakes and you come in and you slam on those brakes and you skid to a stop 10 meters and everything's fine. And then I always say, well, what happens if you were maybe traveling twice as fast, 40 miles per hour? I always ask, how far do you skid? Most students will say, you know, oh, you, you, you come in and you, you just skid 20 meters and you're okay. And then we find out that you actually skid 40 meters. So instead of skidding 10 and 20 for doubling the speed, you actually skid 40 meters and hopefully whoever that ball was from would be okay. So why do you skid 40? Why is it four times 10? Well, this really comes into something called the work energy theorem. Okay, so the work energy theorem states the following, that whenever work is done, energy changes, okay? Therefore, if you have to increase, or in this case, decrease the kinetic energy of an object, work must be done on that object, the car. So work is force times distance. That's gonna equal the change in kinetic energy, or delta Ke, which is 1 half mv squared. That's the important part, is velocity squared. So to kind of talk about this idea of what's going on with this skidding distance, all right? So when a car brakes, when a car slams in the brakes, the work is actually the friction force supplied by the brakes multiplied by the distance over which the friction force acts. Work equals force times distance. And due to kinetic energy, a car moving twice as fast will have four times as much kinetic energy. So it's going to require four times as much work to stop it. It'll skid four times as far. Now, as far as math goes, just to kind of show you what's going on here, okay, with kinetic energy. So for example, and I do have to give you an original value, just like I did in the skidding distance problem. So let's say that... Um, velocity was 2, and the mass of the object was 10, just to keep easy numbers. Well, as you can see, 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4, times 10 is 40, take half is 20. But if you double the speed, 2 to 4, 4 times 4 is 16, times 10, 160, take half is 180, you have just made your kinetic energy 4 times as much. What happens if it's 3 times as much? 6. 6 times 6, 36, times 10, 360, take half, 180. That's actually 9 times the amount of kinetic energy. That would be 9 times the skidding distance. Uh, I always tell students this is the easiest way to look at it, all right, is just use the kinetic energy formula like this. And uh, whatever the velocity is or whatever the original val value is, if you double it, then it's 2 times 2, it'd be 4 times as much. 3 times 3, 9 times as much. So basically this times the original skidding distance. So going back to our original problem of our skidding distance problem, all you have to do is realize that since the velocity was twice as much, 2 times 2 is 4, so 10 times 4 would be the 40 meters. Hopefully this helps you out. Uh, with stopping or skidding distance with kinetic energy.